Good morning. Okay, I wasn't able to take a video for breakfast because I was on the phone, so I just took that picture. So, I'm just having my, this is a, a blend of matcha and hibiscus tea. And I had a bunch of beans. I'm going to make a green smoothie now to get a bunch of greens in. And I probably will also snack on these new roasted chickpeas I made yesterday. And I'm also making, oh, I made some more last night um, chickpeas. These are, I forget what they call them. They're black chickpeas or something like that. I can't remember. But they're darker. Um, I don't like them as much because they're smaller and not as sort of like, they're not as like big inside. You know what I mean? They don't have as much chickpea in there. Um, but I had bought some and I had them in bulk so I wanted to use them up. So I've been really, all right, story time guys here. Let me grab this. Let me turn the light off and bring you over here. So I want to give you guys an update on where I'm at and give you some explanation as to why I think I am where I am. So gotta say the last few days have been pretty awesome. Like I'd say the last week or so. Well, maybe a couple weeks now. Since I've been having some wine at night, not every night though, and I've been having some kombucha, that's actually, those two things have been helping me with the afternoons. What's been happening, helping me in the morning, I think, is the amount of nutrients I'm getting. So I've been forcing myself to have either um, a green smoothie or a huge salad or both every day. One or the other for sure. No questions asked, must have it. I've also been having a lot of this high antioxidant type tea, either the matcha or, or the hibiscus. By the way, the matcha is available on my site if you're interested in it. There's a link in the description. Um, and I've also been having cooked dishes that are nutritarian for the most part. If I don't have a nutritarian ingredient, it tends to only be like a teaspoon of it for a whole dish. So I still pretty much consider those nutritarian. Even that um, cruciferous veggie thing that I made the other day, still pretty much consider that nutritarian because I barely use any of the non-nutritarian ingredients. So whole days have been mainly nutritarian. Um, like yesterday I had that salad from the vegan place and the only thing that wasn't nutritarian in there was probably some salt and the dressing, which is not that much considering a whole day's worth of food comparatively. So, you know, Furman is always saying you can have like 150 calories as a woman-ish per day of off type food. Um, and if I have wine during the day, that would sort of count as well. But um, overall, when I have full 100% nutritarian days, and I've been having many of those lately, then comparatively with the days where I have a little bit extra. He also says that you can have um, around 300 extra milligrams of sodium per day in higher milligram type, higher sodium type foods. So I would say I've been doing really well lately. Now I want to talk about this though because um, where am I emotionally? Because emotionally is always, always the part that matters for me. So here's what I think is happening. Now I want to preface this by saying I just lost four pounds, like without even trying really. Um, the last time that I checked in with you guys was just a few days ago, I think it was maybe three or four days ago, and I weighed 123 on this new scale I got. Now it's down to 119. <laughs> what? Um, uh oh, we've got a little friend here. Want to come up? Want to come up? Come on. Little baby. <laughs> She's scared. Okay. She really wants to come up though. Hmm? All right, we're just going to ignore her. So 119. And if you recall, I don't. I don't think I've been down to this weight yet. I was at like 119 and a half, I think, before maybe on my old scale. Um, I, f I feel that this scale that I have right now is super accurate because I did the weight test as I, I put weights on it. <sighs> Jesus. Oh, you're so lucky I didn't just drop an F-bomb. <laughs> I was so close. Oh my God, that hurt pretty bad. Okay. Anyways, no, I'm just doing a video, so relax. Um, so I 
it wasn't hard. Okay, so I know my scale is accurate because I did the weight test where I put weights on it um, to check and see, and it was dead on. I can't really tell more than half pound increments at this point because of the, I'm using an analog scale, um, one to half pound increments. So I don't know exactly you know where I was in relation to what my old scale was like, but I know that I'm doing really well. I can see the weight dropping off me. Um, I lost a half an inch off my waist. Now I'm at a 29 inch waist, which is really cool. Um, I don't know if I've ever had this, I don't think I've ever had this like body size before. Okay, Moo, you have to get down because we're busy. Thank you. Go. Go on. Go. <laughs> Sucker. Um, so this is all exciting. And I want to say this has been fairly effortless for me. You guys have seen it the last few, last week or so. I've just been kind of like eating whatever. And the thing is, I'm not craving at all. No cravings at all. I might, and it's, it's, it's the way it was on the challenge before. I might be interested in having something, like I might think of banana ice cream, or I might think of chocolate cake or Doritos or something. But it kind of comes in just as a flash, and then, it, then I can make it go away. And I just sort of ignore it, and it goes away. Whereas, like, if you're really craving, you will get up off the couch, drive to the store, buy the thing, bring it back, buy two or three of the things, bring it back, and then eat it all, right? Like, that's typically how craving goes. You will make effort to go get the thing. And me, I'm just like, meh, I'm interested, but I'm not going to have it. And I think that's, you know, you kind of, um, okay, so here's my theories. And I, I really hesitated to make this video and I have been hesitating to make it because I don't like to jinx things. And I know you guys probably feel the same way. Like I don't like to talk about it cause I don't want it to like go away. <laughs> um, because I really like where I am right now, but there's one of two things happening and maybe it's both, but always in this, um, two weeks of my cycle, the hormones don't bother me. Like I'm not feeling crazy. Everything feels fine. And I have way less cravings at this time in my cycle. So I'm interested to see what happens for the next two weeks, two and a half weeks. We'll see what happens because that's the time where I start to have more cravings and they get stronger and more difficult to deal with. The other thing is I have to, this is so big and we just talked about this at the Eat to Live event the other day. When you're getting enough nutrients and you're getting a wide variety of nutrients and a wide variety of fiber and like the, all the phytochemicals, when you're getting those things, that's when the cravings disappear and they become manageable. You might still have them, like I'm having a little bit here and there, but they're manageable to where I can just let them go and forget about them. That's the whole idea here. You have to have that high level of micronutrients in order to get rid of those cravings. That's how it works. Um, and so for me, because I would go through days where I wouldn't be having a salad or I wouldn't have a really green smoothie or something that gave me lots and lots of greens and I wouldn't be having extra vegetables on the side and you know just tons of vegetables during the day and I wasn't eating a lot of beans, I, I would go days without beans. If I wasn't, because I think the two most important things are greens and beans. Those like, if you just make your whole day about greens and beans and then you add in the other ones if you can, if you make your first priority, especially when you're starting out, make your first priority about greens and beans. Like if you can't do everything, you can only do two things, make it greens and beans, right? It's so important, I think, because when your cells start to really get replenished and they really have you know, a store of these amazing nutrients, like I have to say, sometimes when I have a green smoothie and I have to pee afterwards, because you have to, have to pee a lot because it's, there's a lot of water in there, my pee can sometimes be like, um, my urine, sorry, I'll be more professional. <laughs> um, it can sometimes be like a brighter color. And I notice it's because your body has too many nutrients. It doesn't need that many, so it gets rid of them. That's, it, that's the whole process of what your body does. It's like the same thing if you take one of those crazy multivitamins and they have way too much of stuff in it and your pee is like neon. Um, it's the same kind of an idea, but I'm actually getting that from having tons of kale. Or like when I have a huge kale, um, kale salad too, same thing happens where there's just too much of some types of nutrients and they get um, they get uh, regarded as waste and then just pushed out. And I think that is an indicator. It's a really good indicator to know, you know, I mean, it doesn't always happen. So don't use that as like, oh, I'm not eating enough greens or whatever because my pee isn't bright green or bright yellow, I mean. But, um, but 
yeah, like it's just cool to see that sometimes because you can tell that you are getting enough. But I think the point is here, I would like to see and I want you guys to watch what happens over the next week or two, uh, two and a half weeks, what happens um, with the cravings. Because I know that they're going to get stronger um, within probably five to six days, they're going to get stronger. And I would like to see if they remain, because I'm going to try to keep up the type of eating I'm doing right now, if they remain the type of craving that I can just push aside, you know? Okay, I just got a call, sorry. Um, the whole thing is just to make sure that you have enough nutrients in there and always keep those going. And as you're going, as you're getting more and more nutrients, just making sure that you get all that fiber, you get all those things in there first, make that your first goal of the day. The plan is get those things done and then see what happens. For me, it completely blunts the cravings and then by 4 or 5 p.m. when I start to crave other things, like if I'm having some, if I want to have some ice cream, I'm craving whatever it is, I just have some kombucha, which is a low calorie, good probiotics, no added sugars, it only has like two grams of sugar in a bottle or something, um, or a glass of wine or something, or you know, whatever the drink is, maybe it's green tea, maybe it's hibiscus tea, maybe it's something. I also think that these teas are really helping as well because there's tons of antioxidants in here, so you're getting more and more of those phytochemicals that really balance out um, the levels of antioxidants and levels of phytochemicals and nutrients that you have in your cells. So making sure that you're just overloading yourself with as many nutrients as possible and that's what really gets rid of the cravings. And that's what Furman says too. In all the books, you read the books, that's what he talks about. So um, use that as a note for yourself and see how it goes. See if you can make greens and beans your first priority. Make sure you get at least half a cup. I've been eating probably like a cup to a cup and a half every single day. Like I always have them for breakfast to get me started off and keep me level. And then, um, like, if I had a smoothie first and then, I would always have beans after. I would make sure I had beans during the first meal because um, I think that really does help with the bulk and keeping you going. Um, so, okay, let me know down in the comments, um, do you have any experience with this? The points where you end up having so many nutrients, do you lose cravings? Have you ever been able to get over the cravings and what has it taken to get you there? Let me know down in the comments below. Let's talk about this subject a little bit. I'm really excited about it because clearly I'm having some good success. And guys, I'm only nine pounds away from my 100% lifetime goal. So I don't know what, if it's going to happen this month or what, if I'm going to you know, go back to some old patterns for a little bit, or if this amount of nutrients is just going to keep me skating through the rest of the month. We'll see what happens. Um, but I do know that it's been unusually easy for me to lose weight in the last week or two just because I have so many nutrients and I'm not hungry. That's the other thing too is I'm never hungry. I'm like, eh, I guess I could eat something and then I'll have a salad and I'm like, eh, I'm done. But I never, like afterwards, I'm never like, ah, I have to have ice cream anymore. It's never like that. I could have a piece of gum or I just take a sip of the tea or something. Also, I think the sour flavors help as well too, but um, it really, really does help. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments and have a good day. Bye, see you later. All right, I made a little bit too much smoothie today. I've already drank one entire one of these, but I gotta finish this up because these don't last very well, so I gotta eat it up. I'm stuffed, but I'll get through it. And I made some more mushies as well, just to snack on. I made a bunch of them. Hi, guys. Yum. I'm in love with these. They're so delicious and they're so nice to just have around. Snack on whenever. Ooh. All right, it's not super pretty, but <laughs> this is my lunch. Some sweet potato with some cinnamon on it and then this is a leftover from last week, my cruciferous uh, stir fry, peanut stir fry thing. Whenever I have that green smoothie, I end up getting pretty hungry pretty soon afterwards. So I'm having this now. Um, usually if I have beans before or near having that smoothie, it's usually pretty good. But I had a little spaced out today. So I'm going to just go ahead and have lunch. All right. Now I'm moving on to a Caesar salad with the vegan Parmesan and the crispy roasted chickpeas. Killed it. 